This book is written by Justice Sonia Sotomayor, who overcame struggles with diabetes, an alcoholic father, and an emotionally remote mother to become the first Hispanic to sit on the United States Supreme Court. It is all in a very candid new memoir called My Beloved World. Well, we've had the President and First Lady on The View before, but this is the first time we have had a Supreme Court Justice. Please welcome Supreme Court Justice Sanja Sotomayor. I'm going to give you these so you yes, can wear them to do. the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she could kick a, a few yeah, bucks. No, there. I can't wear those. <laughs> I can't wear those. Um, when lawyers come to the Supreme Court, there's nine of us sitting at a bowed desk, I yes. guess you call it, bench. Mm -hmm. And you see the lawyers, and they walk in, and there's fright in their faces. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, know that the tables have been turned on me today? <laughs> I have five of you. And my stomach is churning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We are so happy to have you on, and we have all read your book. Now, I know, because I saw you before you came out, you said, just call me Sonia. I cannot call you that. What do people call you? Justice, Your <sighs> Honor? It's become my new first name. Justice. Okay. Justice, except well, for my friends, and that's why I said, call me Sonia. Oh, um, you. you know, a it's treat. a hard line to walk, mm -hmm. because yeah. when you're in the courtroom, obviously you want people to respect you. Right. And so being called Justice, there is important. Some people sort of can't walk that line. Mm -hmm. I have someone who's been with me for more than 20 years, my assistant, who's my right hand, my left hand, my head, my feet. Yes. <laughs> and she's the only person I know that does it automatically. We walk into the courthouse, it's justice. We walk out the door, it's Sonia. Sonia, she gets it. She got, she got it yeah, from yeah. day one, I, but I it's not hard. Just, we have so many questions to, to ask you. But you write so candidly about your childhood. A father who was an alcoholic, diabetes when you were seven years old, you had to give yourself the, the shots. A mother who was distant. By the way, your brother, Junior, who you keep calling Junior, is a doctor. So both, both you and he went to Princeton. I mean, it's an amazing story. So aside from the fact that you're super smart, how'd you do it? Yeah. I'm stubborn. Mm. <laughs> and your brother is too? And you know, he tells you he followed me. Uh -huh. And, and there is this sort of scrappiness that says, I just won't give up. Mm, yeah. I tell kids all the time, failure is what keeps people, or the fear of it, what keeps people from trying new things. Mm. Because we all imagine the worst in life, yeah. and we get afraid of it, and we don't do it. Mm -hmm. Somehow, very early on, I figured out that pain passes, and the pain of failure passes too. And so I just jump into things headlong. And you read in the book, I put my head in a pail mm. to listen to what the sound of my voice was like in the pail. Yeah. I was curious, OK? I jumped in. I couldn't get the pail off, and they had to call a fireman. <laughs> and, you know. But the point is that it's stubbornness. But you also but, say that you suffer from fear and trembling whenever you're in a new environment. So tell us how you overcome that, then. Well, just like I did right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First, by admitting it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times you, you, feel, you feel things and you just don't want to accept it. You, you put on this bravado of, I'm not afraid. I'm the first person that will tell you, I'm scared out of my wits. So then how do you get past it? You've acknowledged it. Then how do you get past and it and do I it? I just keep going. So you just, when do, you it. I just do it. When you get faces, are you scared? It. Did you have to make a decision, or is that easy? It, it wasn't quite as bad when I was on the lower courts. But the Supreme Court is something different. The, the cases are really big, mm -hmm. and the consequences hurt somebody. Right. Yeah, Meaning, always. doesn't matter whether you think the way we decided a case is right or wrong, if you stop a moment and realize that if you think that we were right, that there's a whole group of people on the other mm -hmm. side who lost, right. who think we were wrong. Mm 